this is something really special. Um, feeling quite honoured and um, just feeling inspired, surrounded by so many uh, inspirational living individuals. So it just, uh, it, it kind of uh, gives you motivation to work harder, even through any uh, challenges that we face uh, with, um, just, with just modern living, just being uh, a woman in this current work, uh, place and being uh, an ethnic woman. And uh, I, I just feel, uh, I don't know, I'm lost, of, lost for words really. Be a leader in policing and probably um, the most senior woman of colour in policing in Wales. Having this as recognition is extremely important and most important in terms of being a role model, I think, to other women and girls who want to get into policing and want to get into the criminal justice sector and perhaps don't feel at the moment that it represents or um, recognises them and their particular backgrounds and cultures. This is not the end. My vision's too big to be told at the moment. There are dreams, there are visions, but for now, this basically is the starter. It shows that our work is recognised. It shows that we're being commended and credited for the contributions that we've actually put out into society. Um, and more than that, it's, it's having a face of representation. And for me, especially against Islamophobia, it's to have somebody and have representation of women in hijabs and putting us in a positive light and basically demolishing those stereotypes and those glass roofs of what they call oppression. If this looks like oppression, I honestly, I don't know what to say anymore. Every contribution that you make, every duty that you picked up, every difference that you make, you are, as I said, not simply reflecting the history of Wales, you are making the history of Wales, and in doing that, you will make Wales a better place for young women and for all those young people. We want to grow up in a place that celebrates the strength that diversity brings us and is proud, is proud to recognise the tremendous achievements of those who make Wales what it is today. Dear